Tonight on WBZ News, the severe thunderstorms that rolled through New England turned deadly on the Cape. Investigators bust two half-brothers believed to be the U-30 bank robbers. Where I can tell you that the budget we just passed is balanced, is sound. Karen Anderson sits down with Governor Patrick about the budget and ethics reform. And the worst happens when a pet python escapes. And as the battle over Michael Jackson's estate continues, why fans may get a chance to hear more songs than ever before from the King of Pop. WBZ News starts now. Massive downpours, thunder and lightning, the storm struck quickly across New England and is now turned deadly. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kate Merrill. Thanks for joining us tonight. He was working on the water. A shell fisherman on Cape Cod was on Pleasant Bay in South Orleans when he was struck and killed by lightning. They were fishing in low tide when the weather moved in quickly and took the man in his 40s by surprise. A second man in his 60s, also on the boat, had to be taken to the hospital with chest pains. Police say the storm moved so fast it was unavoidable. This storm uh, came on approximately uh, over a period of 10 minutes. It went from uh, daylight to almost midnight <laughs> for light readings. and. Uh, the storm itself came on almost as suddenly also. Uh, it could very well have caught somebody off guard that was enjoying a fishing trip and, and not really looking at the horizon. Now the names of those fishermen have not been released, but we do know they are in fact from the Cape. We have a crew on Cape Cod tonight working this story. We'll have much more for you on Channel 4 at 11 o'clock tonight. Ken Barlow, mm -hmm. it was some serious weather mm -hmm. going on in the area this afternoon, especially this evening. Yeah, especially down to the south of here. You know, Boston didn't have it too bad, but south of here, like Orleans and other places down toward the Cape, New Bedford, Mattapoisett, all had over an inch, maybe two inches of rain down that way. It's tapered off now, but there is more rain on the way. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen here, all of that stuff over Pennsylvania headed up into New York is eventually going to swing our way. After midnight tonight, expect more showers and thunder showers. Some of the rain could be heavy. I don't think they'll be nearly as bad as what we had earlier today. 